back to another vlog. I went on a walk this morning. I got my coffee. I got my nails taken off because I want to go back to my impressed nails. Um, and they feel very like weak, but not as weak as they should be because I've been getting dip for like years. Here's my Starbucks order. It's on a highlight on my Instagram. Go check that out. But I wanted to show you guys my updated makeup routine because I have changed a good amount of the products that I've been using or I've gone back to like OG Holy Grails. So we're gonna do a little a little um, classic to check it ready with me with some of my favorite products. The worst part about doing my makeup is red, I don't know what it is, like wetting my beauty blender. It just like makes a mess, you know? And I clean it a lot. This one's new. Anyways, today is Tuesday. Yesterday I was sick. I honestly was hungover on Sunday. I thought it was just a hangover, but I was like really hungover. And I will say like, I don't drink, like I drink often, but I don't drink a ton often. Like, I watch what I do. I normally wake up and I like am fine. Um, but no, 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 not this week. So anyways, that was rough. I'm gonna start with my milk hydrogel. But um, anyways, I think I was also sick though because um, I don't have COVID, don't worry everyone. But because um, I was sick yesterday and I was actually just sick. So like, that must have been what it was. I have been using this milk primer that I actually really like. It's a hydrogel primer. I like anything that's hydrating. And I, right now, I die for the Rare Beauty, is it, what is it called? Tinted Moisturizer or Illuminating Moisturizer? Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. Has SPF 20 in it. I always put an SPF on before I'm super goop. You guys know the drill. All right, for my skincare. Um, so good. I have it in two colors. This one is for when I have, like, literally no tan on, which is right now. And this one is for when I'm self-tan. But this Tinted Moisturizer is, like, going to be my product of the summer. I love Rare Beauty. By the way, this is not sponsored. I wish. I love Rare Beauty so much. They have the best products. Like so much of what I use in my everyday routine is actually rare. Incredible. They have the best foundation, great concealer, the best liquid blushes, the best blushes in general, like so good. So anyways, I was so excited to try this and I love it. It's actually really hard doing my makeup with long nails that have nothing on them because they're just like weak right now. Tonight, Moxie's is taking me and Presley to a Stars game. Presley is like one of my best friends in Dallas. We grew up together, but um, she, we both love hockey. She really loves hockey. So immediately I called her. So we're gonna go to Moxie's in the city. There's three locations, but I'm going, what is this? To the Uptown one. And then we're gonna go to the Stars game after, which is gonna be so much fun. We love Stars games. We took her to one for her birthday. And we just go whenever we can. I just like need to know why these breakouts are just like being stubborn. I feel like I talk about it in every vlog, but I just like, I don't know what's going on guys. This is like kind of out of order, but I'm gonna use the Kosas brow gel. I always put on brow gel just like randomly. Um, it's just clear brow gel to like kind of keep them up a little bit. And then today I just need to get a bunch of work done. I ended up organizing and kind of cleaning last night when I was starting to feel better. Thank God. Cause you know when you're just like been laying around and like you just, it's the worst feeling in the world. So, um, how to fix that? Oh, I've been using this Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 5 in 1 Concealer. This is in the shade 02. I think it's, oh, maybe it is a shade. I always thought it was just like the highlight option. Like, you know, I've like always had like a highlight option of concealers. Anyways, I'm really picky with under eye concealer. I think part of it is because like I don't know how to actually apply it, but I do really like this. I got this at an event with Revlon, and this is probably like my favorite concealer I've used in a very long time. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I like that it's very like highlighting, highlighting. I feel like I'm just like more re more relatable when it comes to makeup because like I too have no idea what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Sometimes when I'm really feeling it, I'll put like a little bit of setting powder under. This is like more of an easy everyday makeup look. I probably wouldn't even, if I wasn't filming and shooting stuff today, I wouldn't even be doing my makeup until later. Um, and I will not be redoing my makeup because I hate redoing my makeup at night. Like, I, I don't have time for that on like a weeknight at least, you know? It's just like a lot of effort. Being a girl is a lot of effort. Like, it's actually a full-time job, literally, but you know what I mean? This is a product that's been staying in my routine, the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. I would kill to finally have my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I still haven't got my hands on it. I check every time I went to Sephora. If any of you have gotten it, how did you get it, you know? My clothing brand, The O Kind, launches on the 21st. Go follow us if you guys haven't already. Put the notifications on. Sign up for text because the people, the first 100 people who sign up for text and like emails, um, get early access 
so you want to make sure you're doing that um i'm so excited it's crazy do any of you guys have the pattern app because it's actually wild i was reading this the other day like i really haven't been on the pattern app in a while like i feel like i used to go down on it when i was like really down bad um but i just kind of like forgot about it even though it's actually the craziest thing and it has like life patterns right and mine currently that i'm in are like divine life partner or something like that it doesn't have to be romantic it's like in every other way which i would agree with especially in the past few months of my life and then also new chapter which what's crazy about the new chapter thing is you guys know i'm considering getting another place in nashville i could try it for a month hate it and like completely go back on it but it's so interesting because my new chapter started march 27th which is when i really started talking about it and then my, um, by the way, this is the bronzing brush that I've been loving. Sephora 80 it just told me to get it. It's the best brush ever. And I've been going back to an OG Nars Laguna bronzer. So good. If I were to get a new lease, basically I would start it like January, 2023. And the pattern cycle ends on January 1st, 2023. Isn't that crazy? I'm just saying. It could also just be the okay. I mean, like who knows? Like who even knows if there's, you know, it could also just not be real. Um, but I'm just saying like that was kind of crazy. Let me know if you guys want me to bring back my like random long chats in the vlogs. Not that they really left much, but like I just always have random things. I've been thinking about this a lot. Like when people are like, oh, things come when you're not looking for it. But like if you're not open for it, they don't come. And I wouldn't say I'm like not open for a relationship, but like I wouldn't say I'm open either. But I was thinking about this. Like how many of you guys that are like either with a partner or married, you, like what if, emotional state were you in before because like i cannot even imagine being with someone or meeting someone like i just feel like almost like my mind doesn't work like i can't be with i don't know how to describe it it's like very crazy um and i'm sure if i met the right person that would change but like were you guys like ready and waiting were you like actively going on dates and really trying or did it just like naturally happen for you it's gonna have to naturally happen for me so i'm not gonna do it oh by the way this is the best combo ever margaret showed me the combo vlogs i know i've done it in vlogs recently it's the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade happy and then the highlighter in the shade outshine and i just do i i definitely didn't do it in the right spots just now but um anyways you do three dots of highlighter two dots of the blush you blend it together and it gives you this like beautiful glow so especially if i was just doing like let's say i was going to like the lake with friends or something and i just put on like less than the tinge of moisturizer and this that would like be my makeup look because it's just like so dewy and like such a pretty look so anyways let's see here next week i'm actually going to austin also i feel like we're really catching up going to austin to record with the skinny confidential which i'm really excited for obviously i love them obviously they didn't they didn't like actually start my podcast but they kind of did because i was the first show that dear media like developed fully meaning that i think i was like eight with eighth with the network but i was the first one that like started as a dear media show so i've been with them since the start and i feel like all of my hard work with the podcast has really been paying off recently like we're doing so many merch things live shows are coming like we're just doing a lot but with that being said it was talking a little bit about like imposter syndrome it's crazy because i don't feel like i i feel like i honestly err on the side of confidence more often than not but when it comes to like a live show that just like stresses me out not even because of the show but because of ticket sales i'm like all right is anyone gonna come like i'm confused we're doing one um early summer in new york so if you guys are in new york comment below if you would come to a live show and also comment below if you could also get five of your friends to come to the live show because i am genuinely really worried even though i know i shouldn't be because i know like stats and numbers and blah, blah blah like i shouldn't be that worried at all um but i am so if you can come and you can bring five of your friends 15 of your friends even you let me know but anyways i've also been using this Ilya mascara i replaced it actually and i have a new one in my car that i keep forgetting to bring inside story of my life but it is so good. I've also recently brought back an eyelash curler into my makeup routine because I just haven't been doing that. Um, and yeah, I don't know why I stopped because it makes your eyelashes obviously look so much better. Oh my God. I got Botox again last week. Oh my God, it's like made, it's so much better than it was now that I'm looking at it. Um, they say it like really doesn't fully show for two weeks and I'm like, mine always like kind of does show. I also am just like not the most critical of myself like physically wise so i don't really notice that many changes until i like remember to look if that makes sense like i'm not like 
staring at my forehead every day. So I probably am wrong. Long story short. Also, I'm wearing a really cute Year of Our set, my favorite one that I wear all the time. I will be doing an entire spring cleaning vlog soon. I need to get rid of so much stuff in my house. Like I have way too many hoodies and sweatshirts that are like covering this closet. And it's like, what? Like, I don't understand. I'll put like my winter clothes in here and like go to spring. But even like spring stuff in here that I'm like, I'm not gonna wear that. Like I don't know why it's been so difficult for me to just get rid of stuff. So I need to just set a timer for like two hours one day and go crazy. Like I need to get rid of half of everything that I own and either donate or give to friends because it is out of control. Also, I posted a photo on Instagram the other day and I got a lot of questions about my lip combo. My lip combo actually wasn't even a lip combo, it was the liquid blush. It's like super pink, like way too pink, you know? But I kind of like it because my look these days is Barbie. So I'm kind of into it anyways, but I also put, I'll show you my actual lip products when we go downstairs and whatever. I've been not using the right brush for this, but I just need my hair to be like fine. Um, I need it redone really bad. It's getting redone next week and then I'll feel a lot better about it. But it's just like with the extensions, it's so thick. It's such a pain to do every day, you know? I will say it does look better, but it is a pain to do and I just like don't know if it's fully worth it for me because I'm pretty lazy. So anyways, that is my updated everyday makeup routine. I'll show you guys my lip combos downstairs. But here we go, I'm gonna change and get ready for the day. I might do a little bit of meal prep too. I'll take you guys along. This is my work from home outfit of the day. My top is Skims. This Poplin is the O kind. The jeans are Abercrombie, shoes are Prada. And then also I got this new watch. Look at my new watch, it's actually so cool and it's gonna match the next set for the O kind so well. Um, I'll link it below, it's actually a family friends company but they are incredible. I love them, I got one for my brother for his birthday too. And I just like haven't been wearing watches in the recent years and I needed to add one so. Anyways, I'll have it linked below, and then I also have a 25% off coupon. This isn't sponsored or anything, but if you guys want to check them out. Also, great gifts for girls and guys, but like, so cool. The green is awesome. This is actually a men's watch. I like either really chunky watches on me or a super thin one. So, anyways, this is a men's one. I'll have it linked below. Right, guys you know when you're just like anxious in the afternoon that's how I'm feeling right now um, I've just been filming a ton of stuff and I just need to get it together but anyways we're meal prepping a lunch that I love and I love having and I used to have like last summer all the time I have way more chicken than necessary I'm also gonna film a reel as we're doing this so you guys are really just getting the BTS um, but it's just like chicken tortellini um, cherry tomatoes, mozzarella balls, and a pesto. So here we go. Chicken. Tragic, 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 tragic. Next, we have the four. I've actually already made a reel of this now that I'm thinking about it. This tortellini is already cooked. Tomatoes. These are really big sugar plum tomatoes. Then mozzarella balls, which are like literally my favorite thing ever. I die for them. So good. And then we have pesto. As much pesto as you want, you're gonna drench it in pesto, essentially. I'm not even a huge pesto girl, but with this I am. Pesto, so good. And then you're gonna mix it. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. And then you have the best like lunch meal prep. It's so easy. I honestly normally make it a lot better than this, but we're just really trying to get by today, getting things done. Um, and now it looks beautiful, okay? Like, look at that. Absolutely incredible. Obsessed, love that. All right, guys, I was getting a little anxious. Sometimes when I'm working from home mid-afternoon, I will hit like a mid-afternoon slump and then things just aren't working well for me and then I get anxious. So I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna play Chris Stapleton, I'm gonna change. This is my new outfit um, for today and tonight. I'm going to the Stars game. I have a like one piece on, I think this is Girlfriend Collective, a Zara blazer, and then I have just my go-to black Harley Davidson boots. I'll wear my Balenciaga bag with them um, right now. Um, I might be anxious because this is the mess of my kitchen. So we're gonna time lapse this really quick 
and get this together. I'm literally eating that out of there. Like that is how you know I'm down bad today. I'm down bad guys, it's okay. I'm not drinking enough water. Drinking water solves all your problems. Guys, I just went on a mini walk. I'm playing country music. Let me mute this really quick. I'm gonna take my CBD soft gels. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. This is always my go-to. Also, I, my makeup somehow looks so much better than it did two minutes ago, but anyways, I love these Equilibria not sponsored daily soft gels. They're really incredible and I use them all the time. Um, my family always steals the rest of it from me, but those are my favorite anyway, so here we go. I just know I'm gonna feel better. I just ordered a juice and a smoothie because it'll make me just, you know, just one of those days, so. Anyways, we're gonna work, get back to it. All a, you know, working gal, what can you do? Say, I feel like a new person after my CBD. I'm sorry about my freak out. Sorry that I had to see that, guys. So, anyways, um, it's crazy. What happens, I just had Juice Land delivered. Been really loving this lately. I got a green juice and then a smoothie because for whatever reason, like, I just, I don't know, I feel like I just like needed more, but I did, couldn't like think about eating more food. If that makes any sense? Like a smoothie, I felt like it would just be easier. I really don't know. I don't know. I just wanted a smoothie, okay? So anyways, I'm also just making some TikToks because TikTok is fun to me. And yeah, I'm feeling good about life right now, so. I made a really cute one that's like kind of emo. You guys should go follow me on TikTok. It's at Kenzie the Texan. Um, I don't have to leave for the game for a bit. I think I have another, we're going to dinner first, but I think I have another probably like hour and a half. So I might just like get the rest of my work done and then we'll be heading out. But I actually really like my outfit for something I like threw together. It's very like, I feel like Kendall Jenner wore this and made it popular. Um, and here I am. Now I, I'm wearing it. I'm not Kendall Jenner, but here I am. All right guys, good news. I have a sneak peek for you. How cute, right? Changing up the color, but still cool. Also, I'm not like trying, it's just happening. Anyways, we're doing a little bit of a book talk. Do not forget, people. How many videos a week do you guys want from me? I would love to do two. It's just very hard to keep up with. But like, to me, I've never really done one video a week ever. So that makes me feel like lazy and bad. But I just like, I don't know. How many videos do you guys want from me a week? Anyways, we're doing a little Goodreads update. I am on my 15th book of 2022. Uh, my goal is 60. Last year my goal was 10. Not 10. My goal was 100. And I hit it. I exceeded it. Thank you very much. So I feel like most recently, I'll just do the past five books that I've read. The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. This is a book club book of ours. I just didn't like it, honestly. I, I just didn't like it at all. Then I read Mallory Irvin's book. She's coming on the show. We just recorded Living Fully, Dare to Step into Your Most Vibrant Life. Loved that book, so inspirational, and she is just good to the, to the core of who she is. You know what I mean? Next, Hook, Line, and Sinker, which is our book club. We meet April 13th at 7.30 Central for our book club. And we are currently reading Hook, Line, and Sinker. All you have to do is join our Geneva chat, which is always linked below. And there's a book club room, and then you'll see it, and everything's in there. I read The Restart Roadmap with Jason Tardick. That episode's already out, actually. I recorded with him. Um, that book is incredible, especially if you're in your 20s and you're just confused and lost and you don't know what to do. Definitely read that. And then, most recently, I just finished Happy People Are Annoying by Josh Peck, which was a five-star read for me. So good. It's crazy how relatable the book was when like he doesn't live a very relatable life adore him loved him thought it was incredible 10 out of 10 um i'm currently reading joseph silver's new book and actually my friend victoria she's a writer for the new york post um we actually don't have any of that but i feel like she's my friend because we dm anyways um she wrote an article about me in the new york post which is like so crazy um anyways she's the writer and i actually did get bored with the other book last night and then i started that one because that's like the next on my list to read and it's based in Dallas, which I love, and it's super cute. And I'm already like, I think 20% of the way in, I'm not really sure exactly, but feeling great about that. I'm feeling so much better, uh, thank God. I love the lip product that I'm using right now. I'll just tell you guys what it is. I'm assuming I'll get questions. Watch like literally no one person care. It's the Bare Minerals, no it's not, it's Laura Mercier. I love these new lip products I just sent by the way. And it is Rose Syrup 190. It is so good, okay? 10 out of 10.
gonna be real with y'all. Today has not been my day. My eyes are watery because there are tears in my eyes. It might sound crazy, but clearly I'm just anxious this week and I'm not complaining, okay? Listen, I'm sorry, I just have been ball of anxiety, okay? But had a great morning, woke up early. Um, the game last night was great. I woke up early, went on a walk, and then I was like still not feeling my best. Like, it's not that I'm like sick sick. It's like, I, it's like a hormonal thing. I, I know what it is. Anyways. So anyways, I didn't go to Pilates because I was like, my body needs to rest. So I went on the treadmill and then the treadmill, like there was like a shortage and my TV and my treadmill turned off. And then like, I couldn't move the shelf because it was too heavy. So my stepbrother had to come over and then we were trying to fix it. And then also I noticed my Wi-Fi isn't working. And then I noticed that the time is off. So I'm like, I think it stopped last night. I don't even think it was with that. So then we were like trying to work it out with AT&T and like I had so much to do today. And basically it's just like set me back on work, which is fine. Deep breaths. I might go outside and do a little meditation uh, because I still have to film stuff and I still got to get some stuff done. Today, Jess and I are recording a podcast swap this afternoon, but I just need like Chris Stapleton playing in my house and you also need Wi-Fi for that. So anyways, um, it's just been a little bit tragic if you do ask me. Uh, I'm not trying to be negative. I just like, you know what? It's one of those days where like everything, like I gave you a list of like two of the five things that are wrong right now. <sighs> and I just like need to get things done. But I feel, especially because I was sick Monday, I just feel so like behind on stuff, even though I'm really not that behind, but I just feel behind. Um, anyways, putting on the slip gloss because it makes me feel better, you know? I feel like that's going to be good. Um, and like you need Wi-Fi for literally everything. So that's like super unfortunate. Oh, also, little home update. We decided to try to do this earlier when Seth was here, and like that is just too small for this area. I think I just need something that's like more horizontal. Um, but like we'll see for the time being. I'm gonna keep it, and then I'll probably put it upstairs in the hallway or something because I just love the piece and it's very me. I also want to get one of those nest things or like whatever it is that makes like that replaces that, so it looks better and I can control it on my phone. Um, just like random stuff. But anyways. Um, Happy Wednesday, very realistic week in my life. Whew. You know, like there are obviously so many bigger issues in the world, but it just like, it all it all happened at once. So I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. I just totally fell and everything fell off. That's what I get for complaining. <laughs> like I'm just laughing at myself at this point. It's just embarrassing. Currently filming outfit content for the Okine right now. Just wearing the Dallas top in like an outfit for Pilates. This is gonna go up on our TikTok. Um, so I'm just making do. I'm, I'm having a better time now. You know, I'm getting over myself. I'm feeling, you know, better. Better about that for sure. I just shot so much for the Okine TikTok. Be sure to go follow, guys. It's actually great stuff. I can't even really edit this, though, because I need Wi-Fi to, like, download the music that I want. So Wi-Fi's getting fixed between 4 and 8, and Jess and I are recording tonight. I think I'm just gonna... I think what I'm gonna do is just do a lot of the computer work. That, okay, this is not happening. I give up. Do a lot of the computer work that I was supposed to do on Friday and then maybe connect to my hotspot or something so I can just get that stuff done. This will never get less crazy to me, our tag and our clothes. So we're doing this. Um, I'm really just, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. We're gonna get this show on the road and see if I can connect. I might have to go work somewhere. I really don't want to. But if I have to do that for a second, it's like not the end of the world, obviously. Good news is that I've decided what rug I'm going to get because I saw a random person on TikTok that I don't know post with it. And I thought, this is cute. This will do. i am yet to find a chair to replace this. Oh my God, guys. How slanted is my vlog this week? So I'm just going to like measure... Like, do I need a six by nine or eight by 10, you know? I feel like I need a six by nine. I feel like an eight by 10 would be too much. Yeah, I feel like six by nine. So it's not gonna be fully under that. Ready? Don't you guys think? Because by 10. Yeah, that's just too big. Okay, six by nine, which is good because that is cheaper. I love that for me. What great news. All right, I'm getting my stuff together. I'm gonna go work at La La Land for like an hour or two just to get these videos edited because I wanna have everything done by tonight. Oh, this is a cute background. Uh, what if I just like start filming here? Oh, hi, bub. Oh my gosh. We have been having just the most best cuddles ever. 
He's just so sweet and so perfect. Look at Coco. He's just the sweetest thing ever. So we're gonna go to La La Land and get some work done so I can have it done to show Jessica tonight. Do some emails of random computer work so I'll feel like a little bit accomplished. I feel like that's gonna make me feel a lot better. Also, I really like that back there. It really adds something. I need to get another basket for blankets too. It's another thing I'm doing right now. Just, you know, we're all over the place. I just did a book matchmaking like IG story thing on obviously Instagram. We're gonna do a little unboxing. I have a package from Loops. This is very exciting. Okay, we have five face masks. I love Loops. Oh my god. Okay, beautiful. Five like sheet masks, I'm assuming. Sunrise here. I'm very excited for this. Oh my god. I ordered these hangers Like four hours ago and they already have arrived guys. I have another Abercrombie haul. I'm so excited I literally sent these selects like two days ago. and It's already here. It's crazy I am the biggest Abercrombie fan like I literally live in the Oka and Skims and Abercrombie It's like all I wear. I got this dress, but I also have this in pink It's just this like super cute summer dress um, I will link everything below. I just desperately need really thin light dresses for Texas heat in the summer. Like it gets so hot, especially when you're going out. And the trick is just wear a very light, thin, almost like dainty dress. Not like that, honestly, it needs to be like probably strapless. Um, you could wear that though, it'd be fine. But, or, and then I wear cowboy boots, but I also will wear like little small, I don't like sandals, so I like like a kitten heel. So outfits, this is a cute little jacket though for spring because obviously it will be cooler at points. Like I can wear this now and I just thought it would be cute. So that's fun. I got another dress. I'm pretty much gonna wear all of these this weekend. I think I'm actually going to the lake this weekend. So we'll see. This one, it has like this cute tie up, but like dresses like this are perfect for Texas summers. Like that is everything I could ever need. I think I got the exact same dress in black as well. Yeah, I did. Um, I figured this would just be like the perfect like little black dress for summer. So cute, especially with the tan. My tans are always fake, but uh, you know. Oh yeah, I thought this was so cute, guys. Look at this dress. I clearly really like blue right now, but I just thought like, oh, amazing again. All with cowboy boots, obviously, or kitten heels. Then I got this, I think this is the pink plunge dress. This one will be interesting. It's like a little bit nicer, but I thought it was cute still. Again, in the spring and summer, I live in dresses. And then this is like a little bit more businessy, which I've randomly been getting asked to like speak at things. So I figured it would be good to have. Oh wait, so I got this. I, mean, I kind of got the matching skirt, but this is kind of like convenient and cute and then a matching blazer i have like quite literally 15 different blazers but so cute easy to wear again with cowboy boots or a kitten heel so that is it for my unboxing haul i do have a new cowboy hat coming soon but i don't know where that is so i don't know how those amazon hangers got here so quick um i've been drinking out of my bread winning housewife like mug, I drink water out of here every single day. It's linked below, these are still available. We only have, I think a few smalls left in the clothing, um, but we have hats, totes, and cups, or like the mug things, available. Check it out. Anyways, we're recording the podcast on Friday because Wi-Fi keeps getting pushed. It was just, you know, needing to revamp tonight. So I have my Loops face mask on, which by the way is the best thing ever. AT&T is coming in 30 minutes to fix my Wi-Fi. I have a recess and a wine glass and I'm going to go through and get rid of a bunch of stuff in my closet. And I'm going to feel so much better about it. And then I'm going to donate it or give it to my friends. And it's just going to be 
Very fabulous. Also, my new hangers are here so I can go through my sweats. Just gonna be spring cleaning, the start of spring cleaning, but I've been needing to go through my clothes for like a while, so thank God, you know? Anyways, reset is so good, but like, do you just see the quality of this face mask? Like, it's unreal. the clothing before which is just actually insane I am fixing this and redoing a lot of it so uh, the clothes will at least be organized just give me like 20 minutes I'm setting a timer Much, much better in nine minutes, guys. Like, nothing even crazy. This isn't even my extreme spring cleaning. Like, I definitely went through things. I have a section for merch now. Those, I'm going to give it a few more weeks, and then my dresses and my sweaters will switch. So when all of that happens, that'll be more of a spring cleaning vlog. But, oh, my God. I mean, I feel so much better. It's unbelievable. I'm going to go ahead and, like, move some bags and stuff around and then some towels. But it's just going to be, like, incredible. All right, so... Most of these are donations. A little bit is trash. You walk in here. This corner is so much better. It's not perfect yet. So much better. I feel incredible. My new clothes and then a few coats that I just haven't moved over are all here. So I can just like grab for the new stuff. Oh my god. I just like can't even tell you how much better I feel. I was so anxious in cleaning. And honestly my wife coming back. I just I feel like a different person. Also, still need to replace that light. I forgot about that. Um, anyways, that um, art piece or whatever, print, not art piece, but it's going to go on this wall, which I love. I feel like it's going to make it feel cozier. I always keep this blank just because it's, you know, all my like mirror pictures of outfits and stuff, but um, I do need to do that and then replace these two lights. So, got to figure that out. Happy Thursday guys, this has truly been like a maintenance day. Woke up, went to Pilates, then I got matcha from Foxtrot. Just went to my laser appointment, update on laser. Literally my appointment, oh, I'm listening to World Series Podcast with Katie Couric. My laser appointment was 10.40, it started at 10.40, it's 10.48 and I'm in my car. I was out of that appointment by 10.45, takes five minutes. I'm getting on my Brazilian, it's not that painful, it's nothing like a Brazilian wax even like at all they don't even compare um and I go to sub laser if you guys are wondering it's not sponsored I'm paying for it myself I just like really like it so now I'm gonna get my nails done I have therapy after I need to do some car stuff and then tonight I'm like filming like a night routine suit so here we are I'm wearing my cute pink vest 
sweats. I'm pretty sure I've worn this exact outfit in Prana slides, but like it's just so cute, you know? Got my nails done, really simple, basic. I kind of feel like I'm in the fifth grade. This is just what I needed and what I wanted right now. So, um, I'm actually about to start a new kind of therapy, EMDR, EDMR, EMDR, I'm pretty sure. I said I was starting it last week and we didn't end up starting it last week. I'm starting it today. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm never nervous for therapy, but this is just different. So, um, I'm not even sure if I'll vlog after. I might just be like emotionally exhausted. She told me to like not schedule things after these appointments. So we'll see. Um, might be talking to you guys in the morning, but I am starting that today and I'm scared, but it'll be good. For guys, I am dying at her right now. Oh my gosh. Yes, Coco. Work it, queen. Work it. Anyways, therapy was good. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, happy Friday everyone. Been working. Um, I hung up some stuff as you guys saw. Today is a work from home day. I'm wearing the Dallas top, available April 21st. White t-shirt, Abercrombie jeans, slides. I'm gonna get Jessica later. And we're gonna record actually the upcoming, upcoming, Okine launch episode. Um, I have also been looking at saunas. I wanna get an infrared sauna for this house so bad. Oh, another thing guys, I ordered this pot like quite literally less than 24 hours ago and it already arrived isn't that the craziest thing like i have questions so i love the art place pan as you can see it's right there i use it all the time so i wanted to get the pot and i mean it just looks beautiful and like something i'll use all the time i also like the charcoal so i'll link it below i really love this for cookware 10 out of 10 would really truly recommend also guys we got some Look at how cute that is. Crazy, right? And then we got some other stuff. Get ready for like a June drop for the next Bro Burning Housewife drop. I actually think this is probably gonna be everyone's favorite so far. By far, it'll be everyone's favorite. So anyways, getting work done, eating some lunch, drinking some water, just really living life. All right guys, Jessica's here. She uh, threw her back out. So she's been in better shape. So the samples are in, but I like this one more in person when I saw it and I was like, oh, maybe I'm second guessing it, but can Rebecca you? also said this one. We can ask him the Geneva shot though. Can you try that one on, like with your shirt on? Yeah. Is that? The green one's thinner. Yeah, version? but that's gonna look better with matching shorts. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, definitely this one. one. Is the material good? Does it yeah, feel it's like the same. Oh, it is? Well, it's not, obviously. Oh, it's nice. good. Yeah, it's great. I would also like to add, if possible, like some sort of thing to this for the Okai. Should we stitch? We're gonna have a little chat because we're about 13 days out from launch as of right now. We're launching April 21st, so I don't know when this video will go up. Um, we just recorded for two hours. I think the episodes are really great. I honestly think Jessica's is better, and I was way funnier in her episode. <laughs> it was like immediately, I was funny. I don't know. What it happened. just was a mood switch. I think my podcast, like for weirdly enough, like makes me less funny. I'm funnier than other people's, and I don't know why I'm like that. It's interesting. I like overthink it more on my own show, mm -hmm. but like, which is kind of stupid because like me being funny is like beneficial, you know? Well, totally. So, anyways, um, how are you feeling? Uh, um, my back hurts really fucking bad. Well, I wish someone about the launch. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited, but I'm like kind of nervous. Yeah. Like, guys, be honest. Are you gonna buy stuff? Wait, wait. Yeah, like, I, like I need, I need, I need five people to be like, yes. Yeah. I just like, it's a lot. I'm just like really. You just, you know, it's impossible. It's just a know. different price point of things that I normally sell. Of like, I know obviously like breadwinning housewife stuff sells like crazy because it's breadwinning housewife and it's cheaper mm -hmm. and this is a legitimate clothing brand so it's a different endeavor right it's totally different it's totally different this is one that we want in like nordstrom like it's not a merch line so obviously like the quality is way better and the um yeah well they're also just different items you can't really you can't really compare the quality of the two but like obviously this quality of what we're doing is really 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 great and we made it as cheap as possible without sacrificing um, but anyways, it would really make my whole entire life if you guys bought a set. Yeah, please. It really would. Please. please. I love you forever. Please. And we're writing handwritten notes for the first launch. So maybe that'll make you incentive to buy. 
We're writing nice things on the back of everyone's little thank you cards. It's a lot. <laughs> we, got we have to. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking about it. Because, like, if people don't buy as a set, like, that's actually a lot of orders. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, well, everyone, it's so close. Set your alarms. I'm getting really worried. It's just, like, also, like, I feel like this time of year is, like, everything's picking up so quick. I'm traveling a lot. You're traveling yes. a lot. Like, there's a lot happening. Like, the week of launch weekend and the next weekend are the only two weekends that I'm home for, like, the next six or seven weeks. Yeah. I'm gone so much in the coming months. It's, like... Okay, let's, hey, go. let's go. Um, okay, well, I'm excited. I'm, I am like nervous, but I, I also feel like it's gonna be fine. Kenzie's leaning on the fact that I've been manifesting for the past six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing that calls me when I'm stressed out. I just think like Jessica's been manifesting this for like a really long time. So, yeah. and like positive things have been spoken about things like this over both yeah, of our lives. Yeah, that's so true. Like so many people have said something like this will happen to us and we'll be successful. So well, I'm also leaning on that. The thing is too, like I, for breadwinning housewife stuff, like we have more units and I sell that out. Oh, yeah. But it's different because it's breadwinning housewife. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like such a niche thing. Mm -hmm. Um, even yeah. with, it's just, cr I don't know. I think because this is fully on us. Whereas like with breadwinning housewife, there's like a team behind that. Right, right, right. Like we're just doing all of this. Yeah. And like, there's so many other aspects of that. that are just not product. I don't know. It's yeah, like, no. really. You guys running a business is really hard. Yeah, it's also really expensive. Like, I mean, we give you the actual cost oh of the yeah, podcast we, episode. We talk about actually how much money we, we put in. Yeah. Because it's honestly, it's so hard to like comprehend when you're not doing it. Yes, and that's why people think like, oh my God, they want a top to be like even like $50. It's yeah. like, no, like if we want what we want and it's not fast fashion, like we're not like being wasteful. We should have also included that part. Like I think we're not buying that. excess. It's not fast fashion. Like, right, right, right. It isn't like you can just, they're like made they're like literally made to order basically yeah like you can't just well not technically made to order because we have we bought yeah, yeah up yeah. front but yeah like we're just not being wasteful we're doing what we can we these this drop was made in the u.s which also by the way i'll talk about this at some point we should we'll talk about this in a few months but like just because like i, I don't know i, I don't want to go into it because i don't want to say the wrong thing but like the rhetoric around like being made in china and like the way people view that is actually like really bad yeah, it's like a little bit um, racist. Yeah, like it's, and we'll go into this. Like I'm not an, uh, an expert on this, obviously. I just have like done a lot of research, talked to a lot of people. And then like people who work with companies in China and things like that have been like, I don't know. It's just like, just because it's made in China doesn't inherently mean it's bad in that in itself. Or is, like, like unethical. Yeah, like there's things in the, the states that are unethical. So anyways, um, yeah, totally. I'm, just gonna I'm excited. Else. Yeah, please do. I don't remember. I just surprised Jessica and we're going oh VIP to Cole Swindle next week. I'm so excited. Oh wait, actually after this we'll call we'll call Lauren. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Get ready because we're going to Austin in the next vlog. We're like going to be together for the next three weeks. Yeah, that's very Well, we are business partners. You do realize <laughs> when people say like a business, like being a business partner is like being married to someone. Yeah. Oh, the thing about yeah, yeah. us. I will say socially too, I meant to say this on the podcast, that the reason it works so well is that like, the fact that I am party girl and you are like chill, yeah. and I do have sides of me that are chill and you have sides of you that are party girl, but like, right, right, right. it's it works so well because we're not needy with each other yeah. at all, and like, you let me go my do my thing, I let you go do your thing, and we just have an understanding, like, I don't do well with historically with clingy people yeah. and you were the opposite of that and like <laughs> youtube i'm just not you yeah. know what i mean like no yeah i think it's just like we, we vibe we do our thing and then we come together when we need to yeah we don't have like an unhealthy like i don't know we just i don't know we just have like a very healthy friendship i agree what i was gonna say also is that i don't have a job right now and like i don't know how we could be like doing what we're doing with yeah. if i had a full-time job because like i like, constantly was like well Why? i have a full-time job though and i'm equally doing stuff so no yeah that's fair to say that's that's true. Yeah. But I just feel like I like, um, I think it's been helpful. It's, I don't know how, I think it would have been really overwhelming had you yeah, 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 not that, having that's a job true. to. We could have done it. It just would have been like, like yeah. I, like this is the only thing that I'm doing right now. So I, yeah. get, I it's like not like stressing me out beyond. Yeah. I, just think we about, like, I, I don't know if I would have like enough, like capacity. Yeah. Cause it's like, like we and I have years of practice of increasing my capacity. Right. 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 So like it is different. Right, and you're also like working like outside the bounds of a nine to five. Yeah, exactly. I have more freedom in my job, so I right. think that yes, like I if agree I was with going that. to an office nine to five, it would just be so, like it would be a lot harder because so of calls hard. and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. But we're just we're lucky. And I'm Very. just thinking like this is like I was been so frustrated that I don't have a job. But, like this is a really positive thing of it that like we're able to do this and I'm not like killing myself. Yeah, because also if you had a nine to five, 
it just time wise wouldn't have worked because you couldn't have been on calls right and then it would have ended up being like all me yeah and then that would have been like time more time consuming right okay well anyways guys the okine is launching very soon um it would mean the world if you pick it up if not totally get it don't worry you don't have to you don't have to but we won't like you no, I will like you. I'm oh my god. Uh, okay. Just kidding. She's kidding. She's kidding. I'm just kidding, you guys. I love everyone. Yeah, but like I would really be so happy. You know, it would make me very happy. So anyways, love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. We'll see you guys in Austin. How do you go from, uh, okay, I'm living this life that I don't like to gain acceptance or success or money, but ultimately it's leading me down a path that's very unhappy or to more anxiety or whatever it might be. How do you get from that point where you're you know in the bathroom leaving the pitch to i actually like my life now yeah i think so like the whole, the whole book restart roadmap right i think before you can just hit restart we all want to just change it right now we want to get rich overnight we want to change our jobs overnight it doesn't happen like that unfortunately you mentioned blueprint i think it's so important that every person sits down right now and rewires like how did they get to this point